Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Breaking News Edition Episode 2, I guess. This may be the funniest place you've ever seen someone record a video like this. I'm kind of clinging onto the face of a rock, but you know what? The scenery is beautiful behind me, it's a glorious day. We had an okay time last night and I just wanted to make this video today to talk about and acknowledge what happened last night on stream then give my thoughts on the 20th anniversary pack after I've had a long time to think about it and also give my thoughts on the brand new wasp because that thing Mwah, that's our beautiful set. So I'll start as I wish to go on with talking about last night. We had a stream planned where we were gonna watch through all the news unveiled about the 20th anniversary set and it didn't go according to plan. The stream died twice and I was left a very uh, hollowed out man. <laughs> it was a very humbling experience because like, I knew that a lot of people were watching me, even some Halo YouTubers had been commenting on the stream. Now, the interesting thing that happened is after that I went on to my discord I went on to general voice chat and I was like guys it's a lost cause we gotta go home I'm not making a video today and they they turned me around they said no you gotta make a video and we did a very basic stream it wasn't like I planned I had beautiful like slideshows and music and overlays it wasn't like that but we just did a basic vlog to camera I had the discord chat on the stream talking and it ended up being a really fun time so I want to thank all of those people that was a difficult time for me especially like having my stream deleted twice lost a lot of progress there so to be able to pull that back you guys are awesome thank you very much join our discord it's a really cool place to be now the piece of news that sort of passed me by I saw it and I acknowledged it but like a lot of people were messaging me during the stream saying you do realize there's been a new wasp announced yes I definitely did the new wasp onslaught looks pretty insane I've seen some criticisms of it and we'll go over that first of all people are bummed out that there's another Master Chief in the set. To which I say, and I was talking to Kevin Hurd at Halo Collector about this yesterday, people believe in the Master Chief. Like, think about it this way. The Master Chief is like Batman or Superman. Like, every set, or like every year and every, like, seasonal release, they need a couple of Master Chiefs at different price points, because it's the same as, like, Batman or Superman. If a kid buys a set, they want to get the Master Chief. I don't mind it. It also comes with some really sweet battle damage, so I'm all about that. Not an issue for me. A hunter and a grunt, that's a big win. I love my grunts, I'll give it a new name, Billy, Gary, whatever, and the new hunter is also pretty exceptional. To be able to get a hunter at that price point is a really big win. So the UNSC Wasp Onslaught at 409 pieces, we get that shade turret. It looks exactly, exactly like it did in the Halo Infinite reveal. Like, to the T, that is the exact same thing. But we've also got to talk about this wasp. Now, a couple of people, that are bummed out that it looks like a bit of a shaved down design compared to the old one. I would agree. There are a lot less smoothed off pieces. It looks a bit smaller. It's got some rotating turbines, which is really dope, but then it does look a little smaller. The old wasp was an expensive set. I think this one will retail for less, including all those other things and the two-in-one feature. So I'm not that bummed out that they lost a lot of pieces. We also have like a lot of spare pieces from things like the Pelican. Like, I have a lot of this metallic green, just flat pieces that I can definitely pop onto this wasp. At the moment, especially when I have this YouTube channel and I have all this collecting going on, I want cheaper sets more than anything else. So if this is a bit cheaper, but it also comes with all those figs, including a marine as well, which looks like it has Miranda Key's head, I'm all about it. Including a fusion coil and that Banish Hunter is exceptional. Some firing mechanisms on the wasp, I'm all about it. I'm also super hyped to see that the wasp is going to be a thing in Halo Infinite. I know we'd seen it in promotion art for infinite before but to see it in mega construct set that like really homes in on the fact that it's gonna be a big part of infinite I really want to be driving that wasp like from one end of the ring to the other maybe from one end of the ring to the other side right upwards I don't even know how this rings gonna apparently you can fall off it in the game but I am definitely for driving this wasp around the ring and taking out some hunters grunts and a turret that's uh, really cool and it's a big step up from that turret takedown that we had with the Hazop Spartan earlier so mega construct you get my seal of approval for this one and then we're going to talk about the 20th anniversary set here we are mega constructs themselves posted this on their twitter too awesome to wait available fall 2021 this special edition fig set includes 20 iconic and fan favorite characters with five of the most memorable characters molded in gold resin yeah it's, uh, it's official. A couple of things. Packaging, gorgeous. The gold figures on the end and the Mr. Chief at the side. We've got all the really important new molds and new figures at the top. And then the reprints and the other iconic figures on the middle row. This is gorgeous. 
352 pieces suggest that it might come with some extra base plates, though I think that piece count might just make up the figures. I'm just blown away by it. The hype and the community engagement that built up to this reveal was insane. And although my live stream didn't work out the way I wanted, you should definitely go and check out Halo Podcast Evolved's preview of this set. And this is one of the most quality produced videos I've ever seen surrounding MCX. It's so amazing. So please go check out Podcast Evolved. They do awesome work. A couple of the criticisms I've seen about this set is that people expected it to be more like, say, the Jerome with a Grizzly set. I saw that prediction a lot. I get that. I. I did think that there would be some vehicles involved and these would be sold separately. But to be honest, I'm kind of happy they're not sold separately. I want to just buy this, celebrate the 20th anniversary and be done with it. I don't want to be searching and scalping for days. You know, if they do this, then guaranteed distribution will be good because every single toy store will want to buy this. But if they do some kind of pack that's only available in small sections across different stores, exclusives in different places, you'll never find them all. So I like this. It's just straight to the point. I could kind of see this being the only 20th anniversary set. And the only reason for that is because Halo Infinite launches this year. If Infinite launched last year, maybe we'd have a different picture. We might get some big combat evolved diorama or or special pack or warthog something to celebrate combat evolve because it's it's not really halo's anniversary it's combat evolves anniversary but i think this might be all we get i know we got more when it was the 10th anniversary but this is at the exact same launch time as infinite and i don't think the company will want to clutter their library right now they need to have very specific releases that are all sort of fit in the same universe i don't think they'll want to confuse things or confuse leaks so this might be what we get and f to be fair i'm very happy with this. Guilty Spark has a blue eye in this picture. He had a red in the other one, so that shows you can switch it out. I can't wait to get them all. This is It's going to be an epic video when I get these. Just you wait and see. That pretty much does it for the news today. I want to thank Mega Constructs again for just everything they've done over the last 36... 36? Where'd I get that number? The last 48 hours. It's been a real journey, a real ride. I've released, like, constant videos, and this evening I'll be releasing another video. Episode 3 of my Versus series, Lasky versus Promethean Knight. So stay tuned for that. Stay awesome out there. Let me know if you enjoy these kind of videos. The domain is signing off.